um, I do have a different background because I have a little friend with me. Anyways, thank you for coming uh, to Saturday Stories from West Side School by Lewis Sacker. So, let's continue where we left off. Chapter 12, Jason. Jason had a small face and a big mouth. He had the second biggest mouth in Mrs. Jewell's class. And, he, and there were an awful lot of big mouths in Mrs. Jewell's class. Mrs. Jewell's, Jason called without raising his hand. Joy is chewing gum. Uh, and, and, it, uh, and Joy's mouth was filled with gum. There was hardly even any room for her tongue. Joy, I'm ashamed of you, said Mrs. Jules. I'm afraid you'll have to put your name on the board under the word discipline. Uh, that's okay, Mrs. Jules, called Jason. I'll do it. Jason hopped up out of his seat and wrote Joy's name on the blackboard under the word discipline. While he was up, Joy took a glob of gum out of her mouth and placed it on Jason's chair. Ew. Um, placed it on Jason's chair. Rondi and Allison giggled. Jason walked back from the blackboard to his desk and sat down. Mrs. Jules, he called. I'm stuck. Rondi and Allison giggled again. Mrs. Jules got angry. Joy, Joy, you're going home early today on the kindergarten bus. Oh, good, said Todd. I'll have some company. Todd went home on the kindergarten bus every single day. Uh, he could never seem to make it to 12 o'clock without getting in trouble three times. His name wasn't on the blackboard yet, but his name wasn't even on the blackboard yet. But he knew by 12 o'clock he would be up, checked, and circled. Mrs. Jules, uh, Mrs. Jules, what am I going to do? I'm stuck. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to stay here for the rest of my life, said Jason. Joy, tell Jason you're sorry, said Mrs. Jules. I'm sorry, Jason, said Joy. Okay, that's okay, Joy. Okay, that's it. Oh. That's okay, Joy, Jason said. I don't mind. Try to get up, said Mrs. Jules. Jason tried. I can't, Mrs. Jules. I'm stuck. Mrs. Jules asked the three Eric's to help. Eric Fry and Eric Ovens pulled Jason. Uh, pulled Jason. Eric Bacon held the chair. Stop, Jason cried. You're going to rip my pants. Rondi and Allison giggled. All right, said Mrs. Jules. Uh, let's try ice water. That should freeze the gum and make it less sticky. Let's go get some from Miss Mush. Miss Mush was the lunch teacher at Wayside School. She had a remarkable ability to undercook a dish and overcook it at the same time. Her specialty was a nice hot bowl of mud. She called it porridge. Jason looked at Rondi and, Al and Allison. No, Mrs. Jules, he said, don't leave me. Besides, Mrs. Mush's ice water is probably warm. Don't be silly, Jason, said Mrs. Jules. I'll be sure to at least, uh, I'll be sure, uh, I'm sure it'll at least be as cold as our soups. Rondi and Allison leered at, uh, leaned closer to Jason. No, Mrs. Jules, don't go, begged Jason. Uh, I'll be right back, Jason, said Mrs. Jules. She went down to Mrs. To Mrs. Mrs. Mush to get ice water. As soon as Mrs. Jules stepped out of the door, Rondi and Allison jumped up from their seats and started tickling Jason. He laughed until his hair turned purple. The girls got back to their seats just as Mrs. Jules returned. Mrs. Jules carried a big bucket of ice-cold water. Oh no, please don't, said Jason. We have no choice, said Mrs. Jules. She threw the water all over him. Well, said
said Mrs. Jules. Try to get up. Jason was drenched. I'm wet and cold and I'm still stuck. Oh, well, it didn't work, said Mrs. Jules. At least we tried. Now, I guess we have to cut your pants off. Blondie and Allison giggled. No, Mrs. Jules, no, Jason screamed. I don't mind being stuck here. I, I'm really, actually really comfortable. Don't be silly, Jason, said Mrs. Jules. Don't cut off my pants, said Jason. The three Eric's will carry you to the bathroom, said Mrs. Jules. And I'll ask Lewis to call your mother, and she can bring you a new pair of pants. The three Eric's took Jason's chair and turned it upside down. Uh, turned it upside down. No, Mrs. Jules, said Jason. I'll, now I'll always have to, have to, now I'll always have a place, now I'll always have a place to sit down. I won't have to worry about finding a seat on the bus. The three Eric's began to take him away. Wait, said Joy, Mrs. Jules. Uh, Mrs. Wait, said Joy. Mrs. Jules, if I can get Jason unstuck, unstuck, will I not have to go home on the kindergarten bus? All right. Uh, I guess so, said Mrs. Jules. If you can somehow free Jason, you don't have to go home early. Don't trust her, Mrs. Jules, said Jason. She's just going to hang me upside down. I'll just kiss him, said Joy. No! Jason screamed. Don't let her kiss me. Um, Mrs. Jules threw, uh, threw water. Mrs. Jules threw water on me, tick, uh, tickled me, cut my pants off, hang me upside down from the ceiling. But don't let her kiss me. I'll just kiss him on the nose, said Joy. Well, nah, when you're not going to... We're got nothing to lose. We've got nothing to lose, Jason, said Mrs. Jules. Ooh, who wants to kiss Jason, said Allison. Jason hung uh, helplessly upside down. Joy stepped up and kissed him on the nose. Jason fell out of his chair, hit his head on the floor, and hit his head on the floor. Rondi and Allison giggled. Darn, said Todd, now I'll have to go home alone again. Joy erased her name from the blackboard. Thanks for watching. I'll make, make sure to see uh, the next Wayside School. Bye-bye.